This exercise covers the creation of piping components within Aviva E3D 2.1. Add equipment D1201 and pump P1501A to the 3D view. Navigate to Zone, Zone, Piping, Area 01 in the Model Explorer. Click the Create, Create Pipe button to open the Pipe Editor Create Pipe Form. Enter the pipe name of 100-B-8 and select the Primary System of Process, System B. Select the A3B specification a bore of 100 millimeters, and click the apply button to create the pipe. From the branch head tab, click the pick connection button and indicate equipment D1201 in the 3D view. Select nozzle 3, uncheck the create head components checkbox and click the connect to selected button. From the branch tail tab, click the pick connection button and indicate the nozzle N1 belonging to pump P1501A in the 3D view. Indicate the dotted line in the 3D view to make the branch the current element and click the create component button. Click the yes button on the confirm form. The piping component editor form will be displayed. Click the flange button. With the default S-type of FSO and against flow selected, click the connect button. Using the component sequence list, navigate to the branch level. With the default S-type of FSO and with flow selected, click the connect button. Click the elbow button. With the default S-type of EL90 and with flow selected, click the connect button. An expected error message is displayed relating to the connection type. Click the OK button. Select flange 2 at the tail using the component sequence list. With the default S-type of EL90 and against flow selected, click the connect button. An expected error message is displayed relating to the connection type. Click the OK button. The Shift button is used here in conjunction with the drag and drop from Model Explorer to only display the pipe. With Elbow 2 as the current element, select the Modify tab. Select Backwards mode. With the distance from previous button selected, enter 500mm in the text box. Click the W axis on the direction tool. Click the T button. With the config set to leave by connection, connection bore set to 100mm and the S type filter to T, select the ANSI T from the list. With Against Flow selected, click the Connect button. Select the Modify tab, Backwards mode. With the distance from previous button selected, enter 900mm in the text box. Navigate to Elbow 1 and from the Modify form, select Forwards mode. With the distance from previous button selected, enter 500mm in the text box. Click the W axis on the direction tool. Click the Copy Component button. Click the Next Component button from the Position Through section of the form. Click the N axis on the direction tool. Click the Copy Component button. Click the Next Component button.
Click the D axis on the Direction tool. The main route from branch B1 is now complete. Navigate to Elbow 2. Click the Valve button. With the S type of Gate and with Flow selected, click the Connect button. An expected error message is displayed relating to the connection type. Click the OK button. Indicate the flange at the arrive of the valve and select the S type of WN from the available alternatives section on the form. The current element automatically switches to the flange at the leave of the valve. Select the S type of WN again for this flange and click the Done button. Indicate the flange at the arrive of the valve. Select the Modify tab, Forwards mode. Click the Connect to Previous button, followed by the Yes button on the Confirm form. Select T1 in the 3D view. Click the Valve button. With the default S type of Gate and with Flow selected, click the Connect button. An expected error message is displayed relating to the connection type. Click the OK button. Repeat the selection of the alternative flanges using the S type of WN as shown previously and click Done. Indicate the flange at the arrive of the valve. Select the Modify tab, Forwards mode. Click the Connect to Previous button followed by the Yes button on the Confirm form. The valves need to be renamed to suit the 2D schematic data. Branch B1 is now complete. Perform a save work. Add pump-1501B to the 3D view. Indicate the branch in the 3D view to refresh the form and click the 100-B-8-B1 link label. The form will change. Click the Create Branch button. From the Branch Head tab, click the Pick Connection button and indicate T1 belonging to Branch B1 of the 3D view. From the Branch Tail tab, click the Pick Connection button and indicate Nozzle 1 belonging to Pump P101B in the 3D view. Indicate the dotted line in the 3D view to make the branch the current element and click the Create Component button. Click the Yes button to confirm the form. Click the Flange button. With the default S type of FSO and against flow selected, click the Connect button. Click the Elbow button. With the default S type of EL90 and against flow selected, click the Connect button. An expected error message is displayed relating to the connection type. Click the OK button. Select the Modify tab and Backwards mode. Click the Branch Head button. Perform a save work. 